Hey, Sets class, this is a homework question from your 7.2 homework set. And what we're doing is building a confidence interval all right, about a population proportion. Okay, so we've got the sample summary right here, and we're supposed to build a confidence interval based on that sample summary. So the first question says, what's the best point estimate? The best point estimate for a population proportion is the sample proportion. So sample proportion is the number of successes divided by the number in the sample. So in this case, it's just 516 divided by 955. And it wants us to round to three decimal places, so 0 0.540 is our answer. All right, and then beyond that, it wants to know the margin of error. So what we have to do is press the stat button, and then we have to come over here to test. And then these are all tests. We're going to do those later in chapter eight, but we want the intervals, so the ints. And then up here at the top, they're called intervals. So in this section, you'll use Z interval T, or in this chapter, you'll use Z interval T interval, one prop Z interval. So we're going to come down here to number, or A, one prop Z interval. The prop means proportion. So we're making a confidence interval about a proportion using a single data set. Okay. So we're going to hit enter. X is the same thing as is here. It's denoted the same letter. N is 955. And it says use a 99% level of confidence. So we come down here and change that to a 99%. And then highlight calculate and enter. All right. So there is our actual confidence interval that's going to be asked next. But to get the, uh, there's our 0 0.540 as well. There's P hat, which is the notation for the sample proportion. And to get the margin of error, the easiest thing to do is just to take the upper number from your interval and subtract p hat. So if I take point um, five five eight one eight five and I subtract point five four zero three, I can just do it to there since we're only having to round it to a, what round the four decimal places. So there's our margin of error, 0 0.0415, one five to four places. All right, and then it wants our interval. Now our interval just went out of the window. If, if you want, you can jot that down, but we can also just run it again. All that information will still be in there. So again, one prop Z interval. All the stuff is still in there from when we did it last time. So calculate it again. So there's our two numbers, and they want them both to three places. So point nine, four point, or sorry, 0.499 for my lower number and my upper number see that's a one so that'll be a two point five eight two and there's our confidence interval all right now how do we interpret a confidence interval the confidence level is how confident we are that the true population proportion okay this was a sample proportion p hat is a sample proportion from these 955 people but we're we are um 99 confident that the true portion of all people all the people um that this sample you know identifies or or, or represents that the true proportion falls somewhere between these two it is this one it's, and it's because this one is talking about the interval from the over, lower to the upper bound, meaning the length of that thing. The width of this interval, 99% uh, of the time, will uh, contain our true population proportion. This one's saying there's 99% chance that it's in between these two particular values. And even though that's the two values we constructed, it's really based on the width of the interval, which this is where it's coming from, right? This is just, you know, happens to be what we get for our sample size. This is, you know, by chance, but the Z alpha over two is stretching this thing out to where it uh, is based on the confidence level. So that's the answer instead of B. Now let's do the same thing, but now let's do with stack crunch. So for stack crunch, like many other things we've done here, we need to start off with stat. But instead of calculators, like we can typically go to, now we want to go to 
proportion stats. Okay, this is the stats about a proportion, and we have just a single sample, and we have a summary. Okay, so that was stats, proportion stats, one sample with a summary. We don't have the actual data. We have the summary of the data. So the number of successes, that's X. That was 516. Number of observations, that's N. So that's 955. And this isn't a hypothesis test. This is a confidence interval. And we want 99% level of confidence. Okay, and you can leave that as standard at compute. So there is our P hat, the 540. This number right here, notice this is not that number, the standard error. So you would still need to get the margin of error by subtraction, either uh, upper limit minus the sample proportion, or you could also do sample proportion minus lower limit, or also because the sample proportion is right in the middle, you could also just average these two. You could do the average, uh, sorry, not the average, the half the distance between the two. So you could subtract the upper number minus the lower number and then divide that by two. All right, and there's that same number. Okay, so you can do it that way. Uh, or like I did the first time, the first go around, just upper limit minus sample proportion is the easiest way to get. All right, but there's the lower limit, the upper limit for the confidence interval. Same numbers that we got with the calculator. And then same interpretation as it was before.